Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Abhul Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see about APM condition and APM collection condition classes, right? Uh, how this is going to be beneficial beneficial for us? For example, uh, if you have an app that has similar flows in Android and iOS, um, you know, if you want to validate whether that particular element having an attribute, right? For example, um, an element in Android might have an attribute denoted with content description but in case of ios it, it it might the value might be stored in name attribute so in these cases it is very difficult for us to assert them right so what you might need to do is you need to find whether the driver is an instance of android driver then you need to get the attribute content description if it is an ios driver you need to get the attribute name once you get that you need to assert in your test like you get this string value and then you assert whether that it's equal to this, right? So basically you are doing a condition, whether it is an Android driver or iOS driver and then performing this operation. But in a case of Serenade APM, all you have to do is, there is a combined attribute uh, reference that you can create and you can store for Android, you want to use content description or text, whatever you want to do. And for iOS, you want to use name or label, whatever the attribute you want to verify. And then you can directly use that in the should be, should have uh, method and APM condition dot attribute. And the first thing that you're gonna accept is whether uh, for Android, what, what it want to fetch, for iOS, what it want to fetch. And then it uses that for validation, right? So let's see how we can do this, right? Let's go to the IntelliJ. And so this is the test that we have written so far, the copyright text. So let's go to the copyright text again. Yeah. So, uh, so this is the uh, element, right? So, how you want to go there? So, this is copyright text dot. Uh, you want to scroll to this, right? So, this is not visible in the DOM. So, for example, this is the app that we are trying to automate, and this is the element that we are trying to assert. So, this uh, element uh, we are finding it using text attribute. If you notice. We are using text attribute to find this element, right? And in case of iOS, the same element, the same value is stored in name attribute. So this is a perfect condition. Again, uh, you know, this may not be the real time use case because we are finding an element using the same attributes and then asserting whether that element has this particular value, which is which is which does not make any sense. But this is a demo video. And then, you know, maybe you can use a different locating strategies to find it and then verify whether the text and name is equal to this, right? Or you can just verify this is displayed, right? So this is a demo video, so don't, never bind it. So we are going to find it using text attribute and name attribute and going to assert whether the text is equal to this and the name is equal to this. So once you scroll to this, what I want to do is should have, I want to assert. So, and this when instead of using condition class, so normally in case of thing, you can use condition.visible, condition.txt and all that stuff. But if the app is having both Android and iOS flows same, then you could use APM condition class dot attribute. So this attribute is accepting the combined attribute type. So you have to create a combined attribute, right? So combined attribute, let's say, let's call it as attribute for now, uh, combined attribute dot Android and then you can pass uh, for Android, I want to use fetch the text attribute. And for iOS, I want to fetch the name attribute. That's how simple it is. So once you do this, you can simply pass attributes, comma, and the value is this. For both Android and iOS, the value should be equal to this, correct? And let's go here and put it here. That's it. So now it will find this element. It will scroll to the element and find the element and verify whether this has an attribute of this, right? Good. So what I'm going to do is going to run the test and uh, let's see what's happening. So guys, it might look very simple, but the but the thing is that it brings a lot of readability. For example, I can do a static import of all this thing and should have attribute, uh, you know, combined attribute of Android text. And then, you know, the code readability is increasing. So it is now scrolling there and finding the element. Oh, it, it, it identifies this is an iOS and automatically fetches name, right? 
So instead of this, I could also use something like this here, right? And then, right? So if you know, look at the readability now, this copyright element, uh, scroll to the element and check whether it is having an attribute for Android as text, iOS as name, and the attribute value is this. So that's how the readability has become instead of you writing a lot of if condition yourself, right? Similarly, you can also uh, do double dollars and then put your locators there and then you can uh, sh use should have uh, APM connection condition uh, dot the same thing. So you can use attributes and for Android, I want to use this for iOS, I want to use this. Um, and apart from that, uh, I want to verify. Uh, so this is a collection of elements, right? So let's say if there are five elements, you want to verify five values in it. So one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, whatever, right? So you can validate something like this, right? If there are two elements, you want to verify the two elements has a text of one, two, three, four, five, six, and Android has a name attribute of one, two, three, four, five, six, and iOS. That's how you can write your uh, assertions. So this is how it becomes can always do static imports, right? I hope this video is useful and you will start using uh, Serenide and combine attribute for your assertions. Uh, I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada bye bye from Mumbai. Bye.